Okay, right, um, this is my fourth tutorial. I'm sorry if I start going really fast, but, um, the last time I tried to record this, it screwed up, and I went, like, 20 minutes or 25 minutes, something like that, and it just took forever, so this time I'm gonna be as quick as possible, see if I can get it down so it'll fit in two YouTube videos instead of ten. Um, right, so to start off with, um, I have given you a link to an image. If you could download that, that would be great, and chuck it somewhere on your computer. Then you need to go um, down here, view, and then background image, and then you click just what I did before, uh, and it brings up the image, so we can now copy over it. Then what you need to do is close that, press X to delete our default cube, then what you need to do is you need to zoom in onto the Xbox, click somewhere in the middle, this is the top view of the Xbox, press space, add curve, Bezier curve, then you need to press Z. Uh, press V so that it does a straight line and then grab the points and move them so that they sort of Go around the corner. So you got one at the start of the corner one at the end of the corner You press E to extrude it and then put it at the next point and Then you press E to extrude it again and to the next point E to extrude it again um, Doesn't really matter if you make too many mistakes at this stage because you're going to re move them around again when you edit the handles Right, so once you've gone all the way around the Xbox, just press C, and that'll close it up. Um, then you need to zoom in on the points, and grab the handles, and press G, and move them around until they follow the side. This bit here takes a little bit of time, so you just got to move them around. And, um, just like that. It's quite simple. Um, I'll just pause the recording thing for this, and... and Okay, so I've finished doing that now, and as you can see, I've moved it all around and got it so that it follows it perfectly and all that. So, um, once you've done that, then press tab, then press N, and we're going to go to the OB dot dot, and we're going to name it T-O-P for top. Then what I need you to do is press numpad 1 to go into side view, and then going to click, um, go shift S cursor selection. So make sure that the cursor is on the middle of that. Then press space, add curve, Bezier curve. Then press um, Z. Oh, sorry, press V. I keep mixing up. Then press R90. Then you need to grab each of the points. So press G and then press Z and move this one so that it's. At the top of the Xbox, not quite at the top, you want to skip out the hard drive. Um, grab Z to the bottom of the Xbox. Then what you need to do is select both points, press N to open up the transform properties window again, and then click free. And that makes it, um, instead of the, the V thing, which is a straight line, it makes it free, which means it does have... Uh, it. It's not important, but you have to do it. Not important, but you... Anyways, um, space, add, curve, Bezier curve. We're going to press V to straighten it. And then we're going to press tab. And then what you need to do is you need to press N and name this one T-A-P-E-R, taper. You can name it whatever you want, just as long as you remember the name. Then select our vertical pole thing. And for the bev object, you want to type T-O-P for top. And then for the taper object, you want to type T A P E R. Now it disappeared, but don't be worried about that because we're going to fix that in a second. Um, then you need to select the taper object, press tab, and then press G Z 1. That makes it as thick as it was before. Then press tab, select your um, new Xbox, and press G X and move it across so that it fits between the two things at the top, so it fits where it's supposed to be on that picture. Um, mine goes about there, because you, you need to get the, the curve right on the side, which we're going to do now. So now select your taper object, if you can. My computer is sometimes a little jumpy, so sometimes it takes a little while. There we go, and then press tab, and then you need to select these two middle points, and press G, Z move them down slowly until they fit the curve 
and just like that. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's how you make an Xbox. And then you right click it and press Alt C, convert to mesh. And um, so now we have our mesh Xbox. Grab the, press tab to go into edit mode, press F3 to go to side view or front view, I'm not sure which one it is, and then select the top row of vertices. And then go to top view, which is if, uh, numpad 7, um, then press E to extrude, and right click, so it jumps back on top of itself. Then press S to scale it, and um, if you were looking at the, the image that we were working on before, you see that it has a small thickness sort of on the shell of the Xbox. So if you look at the very bottom of your Xbox, at the very top of, of this thing, um, just make it so that that bit there, that little thickness right there, is as correct as you want it to be. Then the sides will be too thin, so that's why you press S, X to scale just on the X axis. And you bring them until they look about the same as the other side. So yeah, mine's looking good. Then you press E to extrude edges only, and right click to make them jump back to where they were, and then press 1 to go to front view, or 3 to go to side view, and then um, grab them, and then press Z to move, grab them down, and just move them down a bit, a bit, that's a very um, scientific jumping wave, a bit, I just move it down a bit, um, and that's so that you can get that sort of that great thing on top of it, so just enough room for that, um, then press tab, Go to side view, and then what we're going to do is, um, if you notice on your Xbox, it's not curved on the front and back, or not nearly as much as it is on the sides. So what you need to do is you need to grab the second to top row, and the second to bottom row, and press scale Y until they're... This is a very inexact science, but until they're um, in line, flush with that one there, so they won't have any real curve at all, just like that. And oops, Control Z, no. scale Y, <laughs> like that. Then you just need to grab the next group, which would be the second to bottom and the second to top or third to top, depending on how you count. Um, scale Y again, and then about there. Um, so you just do that for the rest of them. Okay, well as you can see, I've made my Xbox pretty straight on the on those two sides, but it's still curved on the other sides. So yeah, that. Um, yeah. Okay. So now that we've done made our sides nice and thick, what we need to do is we need to press tab and then grab a bit that we just moved down by pressing B to box select if I hadn't already said that beforehand um, press E to extrude the edges right click so it jumps back to itself then press W merge at center so what that'll do is it'll create faces all across that top bit can you see that um, we need to do the same for the bottom so go down to the bottom and um, we won't actually be putting a lip like that on the bottom, so we just press E to extrude, right click, and then press W, merge at center. And now it's got a bottom. Cool, well, um, that's it for the first part of the tutorial. Of the tutorial. It's how you make the uh, basic outline. Um, for the next one, I'll be adding all the details, like the on button and all those cutouts and stuff and so um go check that out